there's also a lot of talk about how to eliminate waste, keep those resources in our economy, and in addition to keeping things away from landfills, we're creating jobs and we're keeping that money and creating more, uh, generating money and jobs for the Austin economy. So it's really exciting, and there's a lot of good ideas for my own house. Mm -hmm. I've met tons of people <laughs> that can um, help me put in countertops and flooring in my own home, mm -hmm. as well as big construction companies are here learning how they can build sustainably for the future. That's awesome. So um, that's really exciting. I love the circular economy. I love that it's all about, it's bridging that gap from you know, creating a product to from instead of throwing it away, like bridging that gap where now you're reusing it, repurposing it and turning it into another product. And I think a lot of ideas, a lot of startups, you know, that operate in that space, you know, can leverage a lot of opportunity of like uh, creating something with very little uh, overhead or low cost to um, get to market. Mm -hmm. um, so what are some of like the, the businesses that are uh, starting up in the sustainable space from this circular economy like that uh, that you think are really exciting? Well, if you walk around to the exhibits here, you'll find, um, <clears throat> first of all, the it's just this fascinating uh, University of Texas Materials Lab. Mm -hmm. If you walk over there, they will... In fact, that's a good thing for your blog is to get some visuals of all of the material that they create mm -hmm. from leftovers, mm -hmm. uh, fragments of things. They create brand new flooring, countertops, building materials that are sustainable. We're also, we've got some exhibits for um, concrete reuse, steel reuse. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just very exciting because it's just about anything you can think of. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, Austin Materials Marketplace is here and what they do is they have a free kind of a database web program where everyone that has leftover things mm -hmm. or excess products mm -hmm. lists that. It's kind of a Craigslist for big construction materials. Mm -hmm. And it can be anything from a hotel that is redesigning mm -hmm. and they're getting rid of every single uh, countertop that they used to have in all their kitchenettes mm -hmm. to um, they put that product or maybe it's recycling bins. They mm -hmm. want to get matching recycling bins for every room in their hotel. Mm -hmm. They put that product on materials marketplace and then they open it up to anyone that might need that product to go get it. So rather than recycling, we're focusing on um, reducing waste mm -hmm. and reusing what's already there. Nice. That's super cool. Yeah, I would suggest you to know, walk around like yeah. all of these exhibits. Are, mm -hmm. um, examples of companies that have started up recently. The talk that I was just in. Yeah. Um, there's. Uh, let's see. What is his name? Zach is talking, he's, he owns a company called House and Earth, mm -hmm. so all of his interiors for houses are sustainable materials and reuse. Nice. Very exciting. That's awesome. All right, Susan, well, I don't want to take up too much of your time. I know you have to head back into that session That's right now. That's just started, so ask awesome. me at the end of the day what I've learned. <laughs> awesome. <a> <laughs> okay, awesome. Well, thanks so much for your time Thank today. You. I appreciate Enjoy it. Enjoy the day. Thanks.